Hi friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to see moist aid sterilization. In moist aid sterilization, moist aid, that is, hot water vapor, is used as a sterilizing agent. This method is used for heat sensitive materials and materials through which steam is permeable. Eye temperature combines with eye moisture is one of the most effective methods of killing microorganisms. Vegetative cells are much more sensitive to heat than our spores. This is due to the higher level of water activity in the vegetative cells. Most bacteria are killed in 5 to 10 minutes at 60 to 70 degrees Celsius by moist heat. Vegetative cells of yeast and other fungi are usually killed in 5 to 10 minutes by moist heat at 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. Fungal spores are killed in 5 to 10 minutes by moist heat at 70 to 80 degrees Celsius. Bacterial spores are much more resistant to high temperatures. The viruses are killed in 5 to 10 minutes at 60 to 70 degrees Celsius by moist heat. One of the most important notable things about moist heat sterilization is that it is effective in killing fungi, bacteria, spores and viruses. The killing effect of moist heat is due to the denaturation and coagulation of protein. Based on the temperature of sterilization, moist heat sterilization is classified as temperature below 100 degrees Celsius, temperature at 100 degrees Celsius, steam at atmospheric pressure and steam under pressure. Next, we are going to see the advantages of moist heat sterilization. Moist heat is non-toxic and does not harm the environment. Moist heat is much more rapid and effective than dry heat. It is inexpensive, microbicidal and sporicidal. We know cidal means killing. Moist heat sterilization kills microorganisms as well as their spores. Next we are going to see the disadvantages of moist heat sterilization. Steam impermeable materials cannot be sterilized by moist heat sterilization. Moist heat sterilization will corrode instruments. I am concluding this video here and see you soon in my next video. Thank you friends.